And we begin with those scenes of devastation coming in now after the wildfires. Now staggering amounts of rain triggering deadly mudslides tonight in California. Mud and debris rushing down hills on the major highway shutting down the 101 in Montecito. Multi car accidents on rain slicked roads. This truck losing control off an interchange to the I 5 freeway. Powerful torrents of rain and mud ripping up trees and homes, trapping people inside. In fact, a 14 year old girl pulled from the mud and the wreckage alive. But not everyone has been saved, and the death toll is growing. ABC's Matt Gutman leads us off from California. Tonight, rescuers trudging through chest high mud in the frantic search for the missing. We have multiple reports of uh, people trapped. Up to five inches of rain surging through creek beds with titanic force. It's our worst fear coming coming to life for us right now. And our people are out there trying to do the best work they can and perform as many rescues as they possibly can. The Thomas Fire, largest in California history, denuded the nearby hills of vegetation and anything that would absorb the water. Overnight, the famed 101 freeway overrun. We're retreating here, and you can actually feel debris hitting our car right now. Closed for 30 miles in both directions. And you can see how fast that water is moving here. I mean, that is a torrent of water. At least eight killed and over two dozen injured. Rescuers piling in overnight, gingerly pulling out this 14-year-old girl, so mud spattered, it's hard to make her out. Dogs were sent padding through the deep slop, skirting around eucalyptus trees that had snagged siding, cars, and whole chunks of homes. Firefighters are telling us that that foundation right there, it had a house on it. That house is now over there, smashed up against those trees. That crew on the rooftop searching for signs of life. Do you think someone is in there? We have a strong feeling someone's in that house. Some neighborhoods impassable. Helicopters and high water vehicles taking families like Ben Hyatt's to safety. I immediately ran, woke up uh, Jack and pushed him to the top bunk bed. I was worried that it was just going to keep coming and coming. Uh, woke up my wife and we just did not know what to do because we were just surrounded by uh, mud. The debris field was a miles long ribbon of mud, boulders and the remains of people's homes. Above Burbank, look at all the water that came down to this dam. Destroyed, it looks like, several vehicles and that RV there. That slide also causing a gas leak and bringing mandatory evacuations. And Matt Guppin reporting in tonight from Montecito. And Matt, we know just a devastating scene there. You've been reporting in all day on this. And this area was not under a mandatory evacuation? That's right, David. We've learned that several of the neighborhoods that we've seen that have been swallowed by these debris flows were under voluntary evacuation orders. And officials say that many of the residents who lived in those mandatory evacuation areas just stayed put. And when you see the kind of concrete-like mud that rescuers and first responders have to deal with, you understand why they fear the worst for those victims who are still missing. David. All right, just an incredible scene tonight. Matt Guppin leading us off. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.